Thanks, David. Uh, apologize, I didn't really prepare anything, but David just asked me to reference some of the projects that we've done. Some of us walked down to Educatum Circle, and the Alumni Association contributed, if memory serves me correctly, between twenty-five and thirty thousand dollars to the renovations down there. That was a few years ago. Um, Plus, got the trenches for the water and electric. Yeah, and ran and paid to have electric and water run down to the to that campfire circle. Uh, originally. When the association started a number of years ago, one of the first projects was the parade field. So the stonework you can see, and the flagpoles, and we brought in a lot of topsoil so that grass would grow again on the what were formerly serpentine barrens, probably. Um, and then that we sort of extended that look and feel into the parade field. And geez, we've done a lot of projects. A lot of the signage that you see, our sign today, it's. Uh, how you describe those signs, but the signs in the buildings and the campsites all around camp were done by the Alumni Association. But it's a, it brings me to a, a pending project, and there's a poster on a table back there, but we think our next project will be a flagpole area and wall over at Camp Ware. And it'll involve, I think, nine flagpoles, uh, our design, which is, you know, we work with the camping committee to get these things approved. Uh, we have budget of about nine or ten thousand dollars right now for some stonework, uh, three flag, three main flagpoles, and then nine kind of troop or pack flagpoles. Uh, as you see, you know there's troop poles at the end of the here at the end of the parade field here, and that's something that we've heard through the, the staff that the, the Cub Scouts like when they get to put their flag up and have their own pole. Um, so. We'll make that area. There's already an area where there's some flagpoles. We're going to move them slightly. Nicer design. It'll have similar look and feel to here. And uh, that'll be our next project. So we urge you, you know, if you're uh, contributing, uh, some of your money in the future will go to that. Uh, there's also all sorts of projects. And I'll say more recently, we've, we've directed some of our money. We used to say all of our money would go to projects. And we don't say that anymore because some of our money now, we're, we're sort of... Uh, supporting the staff, um, not with outright a gift of funds to the camp, but through things like a Staff Member of the Year Award. Uh, we sponsored some shirts for the department heads at, on the camp staff, and I'm for, probably forgetting some other small things, but here and there where we can help make things uh, a little more comfortable, nicer, general, little small rewards. Oh, there's also there's a scholarship program that we've done for the past couple years. I don't know where that stands for this year, uh, but we've given on the order of $2,500 to anywhere from, I think, three to six staff members uh, that we, we send directly to their college once, once they're enrolled. Um, so that's kind of what we do with your money. Any questions? Anybody, anybody?